Hey, Dan. Happy anniversary. Dan, my husband, he's an amazing dad. You almost ready to go to size 4S, huh? Are you so big? Look at the big muscles. I just wish our lives were bigger. Really? At least let me put my kid down. Six. Sorry about the mess. Hold on. Oh, hey, Bo. Hey, Dan. Don't hang up. I need no identities. I'm burned. Me, my wife, and three kids. Have you told them yet? I'll tell them when I'm on the road. Meet me in Vegas in three days. This is crazy. Oh, my God, we're going to Vegas. Woo. Oh, yes. so pumped. Nothing brings the family together like a road trip. Oh, my God. Collaborate and listen. I suspect with a brand new invention. Something. Please stop. Five hours on a plane or 33 hours in the car? Can someone unlock the car, please? Call in everybody. I want to found. What was that? A little pothole. Maxie's been up the whole time, by the way. Wish that. Before I met your mom, I was a covert assassin. I escaped that life, and now they found us. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Being your husband and their father, that's the real me. You're like James Bond in a minivan. I love that minivan. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I need to be that guy one last time for us. Look at you playing the family man. I'm not playing. This is my life. Hey. I'm kind of into spontaneous dance. Wait, wait. <laughs> Go. Mwah! New record. Hi, Barbie! Hi, Ken! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Ugh. Hi, Ken! Hi, Ken. With the radio fast and goes cruising just as fast as she can now. I thought I might stay over tonight. Why? Because we're girlfriend boyfriend. To do what? I'm actually not sure. Okay, ladies, let's do this. What are you doing here? I'm coming with you. You bring your rollerblades? I literally go nowhere without them. Oh, looks like this beach is a little too much beach for you, Ken. If I wasn't severely injured, I would beach you off right now, Ken. I'll beach off with you any day, Ken. Anyone who wants to beach him off has to beach me off first. I will beach both of you off at the same time. Beach both oh, of us off? Beach. Nobody's gonna beach anyone off. You're the funny little man who's been following me. Funny little man? How dare you? I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. An Oompa what now? In fact, in Loompa Land, I am regarded as something of a whopper. They call me Lofty. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you all. My name is Willy Wonka. You see, I'm something of a magician. Prepare to be amazed. Tape up. <laughs> Inventor. May I present Willy Wonka's wild and wonderful wishy-washy Wonka Walker? Please don't make me say that again. And chocolate maker. The best chocolate in the world. Ooh. He's good. Too good. And anyone can afford them. Even the... The poor? He doesn't like it when people say poor. Send Wonka a message. Do not sell chocolate in this town! 
you're gonna get more than a bonk on the head. I love a bonk on the head. What is with me today? You should stand up to those bullets. Give them the old one, two. I got an idea. Where do we start? Making chocolate, of course. Every good thing in this world started with a dream. So you hold on to yours. I guess it's time to change the world. Bumpa, lumpa, dumpa, diddy. I'm not in premium economy. Good night, sir. I am going flat. Huh. What is it? Nothing. Well, it's obviously something because you said, huh. Forget it. Very well. Huh. Oh, you did it again. Tell me what it is or I shall poke you quite viciously with a cocktail stick. Hey, head of the wedding. Of my sister? Yes, I am. So where's your fiance? Wait, is this him? Hey, I'm Ben. I was her hall pass on your break. Wow, you are a child. It's a pretty long flight. Do you want anything from the front of the boat? I'm all good on creatine and smelled like insecurity. Nothing small about me. What the? That's the jerk poop he got with when she was on her break from Jonathan. I could never be with someone like him. This girl's a disaster. Oh! We're gonna ruin our wedding. Sorry. Hey. How's it going, stranger? What's going on over there? They dated, she crushed his heart. That man does not have a heart. No way. Honey, look who's here! Who is it? My ex, Jonathan. My parents have been trying to get us back together. He's like a son to us. Maybe we should just tell everyone we're together. What? It would solve that problem for me, and you clearly want Margaret. She sees you with me, she wants what she can't have. There's no way we can convince anyone we actually like each other. You know, I still think about that night we spent together. Shut up. No, I'm serious. No matter how it ended, he's still pretty amazing. <clears throat> Convincing enough? Let's do it. Honey, here he is. Oh, no, I'm with Ben. So is it like we just got together or we been sinking around? Let's just be affectionate. Showtime. Permission to put my left hand on your right buttock. Granted, not a magic lamp. Hey, little guy. Oh, God damn it. See you tonight. We have to kick it up a notch. See you right. Nice touch. Nice dress. Oh, no, no, it's gonna be hard. <gasps> when are you ever gonna learn? Fuck it, it's fine. Titanic me. Are they watching? Are they doing Titanic? They're gone, show's over. Oh my God. Do you have a mole or something on your butt? No. What the? <laughs> One might be in you. I'm good. It's probably a better way to check than what I did. It's a bad idea, right? What did we miss? What did we miss? Fuck it, it's fine. Stop! Gary! Court order for asset seizures. So they're taking my car? You went radio silent on me. Is that what this is about? My feelings for you were so intense that I got scared. Is that true? Buongiorno! That's my cousin. Gary, I swear to God, he's my cousin. Mm. He's my second cousin. There's something seriously wrong with you. I'm an Uber driver and I don't have a car. I'm gonna lose my house. You think I chose him? Look at this. Need a car, date our son this summer, and bring him out of his shell before college. In exchange, we'll give you a Buick Regal. Date is in quotes. Bet that means sex. My husband, the code breaker. We've just been so worried about our son. He's going to Princeton in the fall. No, oh, I've heard of it. Yeah, we tried everything to bring him out of his shell. He doesn't come out of his room. He doesn't talk to girls. He doesn't drink. So when you say date him, do you mean date him or date him? Yes. Date him. Date him hard. Okay. I'll date his brains out. He volunteers at the animal shelter. Hi. Mind if I touch your wiener? What? Your dog. <coughs> How about I give you a ride home? Um, this isn't the way to my house. The shortcut. You're my hostage. What you got down there? Something for me? <laughs> Why? You tried kidnapping me! You're 19, grow up! This kid is undateable. Have a drink together. He'll have a Long Island iced tea. 
This is the worst iced tea I've ever had. Dance party. I don't know what to do. I just know my mom would have wanted me to save the house. He's probably just nervous. Why don't you loosen him up? He can go skinny dipping. What about sharks? None here. Jellyfish? Not this season. It's really the lack of life, Charger. She's getting in here right now. Okay. I'm just a bit of a romantic. He's actually really sweet. The best part about getting older is not having to care what people think. I'm an adult now. I can make my own decisions. That's good. You want to save her. Save her. Come on, you're getting out of here. You don't belong here. Don't Let's touch me. Get away from her. Stay. No <laughs> ah. <laughs> Maddie, you can't outrun the cops. I can't lose my license. Here we are together. <laughs> We're on an adventure. Yeah. Seeing what else life has to offer. Is that a little scary? Sure. But isn't it worth it? We're not gonna make it, are we? Uncle Dan! What is this place? We are completely lost. Was your mother? That is not your mother. We're trying to get to Jamaica. It all seems so simple. <laughs> Chump's gotcha. So listen, Chump. What? Did you just call me? Sorry. I thought your name was Chump. Yeah, Chump. Yeah, that's my name. What? Right. So listen, Chump. What? Did you just call me? I'm sorry. Is everyone else hearing Chump? What? <laughs> this isn't about migration. It's about adventure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. What just happened? I don't know, but you're in trouble. What is that? Duck a la Ronge. What's Duck a la Ronge? It's you with La Ronge on top. Ooh. There's a whole world we've been missing out on. And we When danger strikes, you do not run from it. Reload! Whoa! We're going to finish this crazy, wonderful adventure. You're so adorable. Maybe I'll eat you. Uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> Where am I? Huh? Go, go, go! Do you know that feeling when you're doing exactly what you were put on the earth to do? The one where it's like everything inside you is moving together in harmony with the universe. No! Me neither. But, you know, one can hope, right? Wave to mommy, because she'll hate me even more than she already does if you don't. I seem to recall you saying that becoming a lawyer would only crush your soul. Yeah, it has. I'm running a business, and right now that business is getting a journalist in and out of Paldonia. No. It's a one-off. No, no, and no. Who's a journalist? I have resigned my position here. Not interested. 20 grand says you are. Welcome to Paldonia. President Finega, so nice to meet you. We must take a selfie. Um. You approve? Ah, it's great. Vamos! Ah! Ow! What the hell just happened? Your one man's security detail happened. He's a hero. I'm with the president of a country in the middle of a coup. This is the scoop of a lifetime. You gotta be alive to have the scoop for a lifetime. We never should have come. Let's go. You can't just leave him. Run! Run! Ready to go, I don't know how to stop. When you start at the bottom, only way to go is up. I'm just doing my job. Did you help? I get up again, then I got to win. I get up again, then I got to win. What? Nothing. You still excited to cover a coup? Less and less, honestly. 
Eres Venegas. ¿Quién Venegas? ¡Tú, por Pantoja! ¡Hey! No es el tiempo para coaching, man. Oh, oh my God. Oh, call me impressed, Mr. Petit. Not Petit at all. Honey, maybe we should just call it a night. You go ahead. I gotta finish these centerpieces and rearrange the seating chart. Yes. Hello? Mom, now is not the time. I just want to ask, is that genetics or is it like Pilates? You got your gift. It's your something borrowed. Brings you good luck. Except for Uncle Greg, who ended up decapitated on that forklift. But that's not the knives' fault. Uh -huh. Oh, someone just left that in the bathroom. You invited your ex? Looks like he's leading a porn safari. Oops, he forgot to button his shirt all the way up. Is it time for dinner? You look so much better than the rest of us. I think the left boob is slightly lower than the right boob. Something doesn't feel right. Once did I wonder if I'd be walking handcuffed to the jungle with a life grenade. Oh, sir, sir, give me the grenade, sir. I got it, I got it. Oh, you got it? I got it. You got it? I got it. You got it. Okay. Dress is growing on me. I wanted something less traditional. Nobody with my family. Ah, don't, let go! don't you let go? Hi, you guys must be new to town, right? New to town, but not new to the country. We just moved from California. Oh, we just wondered uh, if, if you wouldn't mind if your, your daughter played with our daughter. Audrey, say hi. You want to play Sly? Mm -hmm. Slides off limits to Ching Chongs. <gasps> Fuck you. <laughs> Do you want to be best friends? Look at me, look at me, look at me now. Mm. Guess who's going back to the motherland? It's a big deal, going to your birth country. We used to talk about it all the time when we were little, remember? Grand adventure to find your birth mother. So proud of you. Surprise! Surprise! Oh. Wait, people. Y'all calling me crazy. Be my translator in Beijing. Audrey, I got you. Sweetie, <laughs> Kat lives there now. Your famous college roommate. You ready to lose to a celebrity? Oh! Dead Eye is coming, by the way. Dead Eye, your cousin? Hey, Audrey. Oh, hi. Hey. Dead Eye. Where did that come from? You know, I think I get it. I called the adoption agency and she lives in Haiching. Okay, will you guys come with me? Fuck yes, bitch. I love a grand adventure. <laughs> oh, hi. So nice to see an American. What do you do for work? Hmm? Hmm? It's the cops are doing a back check. Fuck. Oh my god, you're a drug dealer? You're drug dealers now, bitches! What the fuck? Is that a condom? We can't get caught with drugs in China. We'll get jailed for life. Crazy, gotta go crazy, honey. Hey, go crazy, go crazy. I should never come to China. People are always thinking that I have this perfect life. I don't belong anywhere. If you do not know where you come from, how do you know who you are? still find her. Our passports are in my suitcase that got stolen. You know who can bypass airport security? K-pop stars. Everyone remember their names? Sassy. Cutie. Lisa. Lisa, too. I don't believe these girls are serious. Girls, show them. Um, <laughs> what are we supposed to show? You're a fan of Cardi B, right? Yeah. Is she here? 
There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. Creepy, you gotta pull crazy. Hey, honey, you good? Did you get the Coke bags out? Yeah, but only seven, and I think I put in eight. Just push, pull. I mean, twist it. It's not a puppet, it's my asshole. I told you, I'm on vacation. While I'm on vacation, I'ma just float. Come here, Mr. Parker. Sure. Mm -hmm. Marcus and Emily Parker, you have failed to notify your airline that you are registered sex offenders. What? <laughs> mm, what the hell is wrong with you? Look at us, all together again. We just wanted to give you guys a real honeymoon. Just found this crawling under our table. He's, He's crawling? crawling? It's yes. your first time. It's a prodigy. It's amazing. What are they doing letting us in a place this nice? How the hell did you get us in here? You didn't tell them. They're going to be long gone by the time I get into my work thing. You must be Mr. Parker. Apologies for the change in schedule. Mr. Young has invited you for drinks. All of you. Guys, I need you to be really cool. Can you do that for me? When have we ever not been cool? Yeah! Literally just released from St. Quentin. <laughs> I got you the best wedding present. What? Why does this Coke not taste cokey? Because it's your mom. I just look at your mom. It's really kind of beautiful if you think about it. No! This is not how I picture things going at all. It's cool, Marcus. It's cool. We be floating, right? We float. We float. I'm just floating in a ah! Let me down! Get your hands off my wife! Ever since he showed up, he turned this relaxing family vacation into total chaos. Who does that? We have been through hell. Why don't we just go back? I knew it. Chicken. It's only one thing left to do, sir. Oh. I've never seen that much water come off a person before. Did I throw up a lot? Your butthole threw up, bud. Oh. I sent you to the royal wedding with simple instructions. Don't cause an international incident. How's it going? You've done some pretty stupid things in your day, but this... Thanks the cake? Henry shoved me. An urge I currently share. What I need is some good old-fashioned damage control. Boy. The White House and the palace are going to release a joint statement. Look at Maggie, you can fight. You've got to be joking. You can hate Prince Henry all you want. My NDA is bigger than yours. I want you to know that. You're wearing lifts. Not that too, sweetheart. You better act like the sun shines out of his ass and you have a vitamin D deficiency. Have you thought of what you might say to convince the world that we're actually friends? I love hanging out with this guy. These days are way too lonely. We never have to see each other again. You're expected at my New Year's party. Don't forget the level way, but... Did I do something wrong? Do you ever wonder who you'd be if you were an anonymous person in the world? I have no idea what you're talking about. You're as thick as it gets. I want someone love. What I meant. Oh, when I yourself, your majesty. It's your royal highness. Oh. Dear Alex, I miss you. That's what I really want. Good morning. We are in a hotel crawling with reporters. If anyone sees you leave this hotel, I will Brexit your head from your body. Your royal highness. You need to figure out if you feel forever about him. Do you love him? What difference would it make if I did? I want someone to love. Prince Henry belongs to Britain. I need. We can figure out a way to love each other on our own terms. It's like there's a rope attached to my chest and it keeps pulling me towards you. I want someone to love. Hopefully we'll get through tonight without any more scandals. <laughs> the night is young, Ma. That's what I want. Mustache, just like you. 
Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit with a hat with the letter of his first name on it? <laughs> because I don't. Bowser is coming. Together, we are going to stop that monster. How? Look at us. We're adorable. Oh, I got this. No problem. <laughs> There's a huge universe out there Whoa. with a lot of galaxies. They're all counting on us. Mario! No pressure. I'd like to report a crime that hasn't happened yet. Have you seen the movie Back to the Future? Basically, I'm living that movie right now, which is how I know there's gonna be a murder tonight. <laughs> Hate time travel movies. They never make any sense. Happy Halloween. How about we all stay in and hand out Halloween candy? No, Mom. You know how hard this time of year is for us. Your friends were murdered 35 years ago. It's not 1987 anymore. Stay safe, honey. I love you. <sighs> year is it? 1987. Oh my god. I know. The 80s are almost over and I haven't even tried coke yet. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Mom. Fuck off and die. Jesus, mom. Masita. Ay. Ay, ay, ay. Mamacita. Time for my birthday, bitch. <laughs> Creepy-ass cabin in the middle of fucking nowhere. What's the big deal? There is a murderer on the loose, and you drove us into the woods. <gasps> oh, my God! What? I forgot to bring vodka. Go, 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 yeah. You have seven and a half hours until you're stuck here forever. <laughs> I need to stop all this horror before it happens. Did the machines kill us all? No. They more just rip apart the fabric of our society via dance videos on TikTok. They used dance against us? Come on out, water's warm. Just so you know, I don't do blowjobs. You pee under that thing. Just think, maybe if she did do blowjobs, she'd still be alive. Yeah, let's not make that the lesson. 80s weed sucks. This is just dirt. Look at all these twigs. You know, I could give you a gummy this big that has 100 times more weed than this. Rhea Khan. Yeah, yeah. I am going to be a stunt woman. Yeah, yeah. My sister Lena is the yeah, only yeah. person who believes in me. Want to help me with a vid for my channel? Please! No! Please! No! She helps me with all my training. You are going to be such a great stunt woman. That was dope though. But lately, she's been seeing this guy who I think is a bit of a smarmy wanker. You know, it's a trap. Oh my God, Rhea, chill out. Now, I'm not being dramatic, but these people are evil. I found something. I've got my eye on you. They are not taking her away without a fight. I will strike down you or anyone else who tries to get in my way. How about the bikini area? <laughs> Let's dance. We need to get Lena out. How? Mischief is afoot. Lena's not going anywhere. You little bitch.
Root. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? Oh. He sticks to plan. Nothing changes. We are going to show Rina who these people really are. Let's decimate this mother! You're calling me crazy! Did you see my kick? Of course I bloody did. It was magical. I'm pretty sure I drew blood. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Mr. Renfield, welcome. I am the action. You will make a very good assistant. No! He's evil. We will protect you. You have the word of the most trusted institution on Earth. The Catholic Church. Your sole purpose in life is to serve me. Now, let's eat. I just want a normal life again. God bless you, Mr. Renfield. Oh, God bless you, nuns. You're a hero. Robert Montague Renfield. Let me explain. I work for Dracula. Count Dracula. It's the real Dracula! Some call me the Dark One. Others, the Lord of Death. <laughs> so you bring in people to eat? Well, I do other stuff. Like what? Wash his cape? No. The cape is dry clean only. Strictly. Yeah, I will wear this. This fly, yeah. You're gonna think he's such a bad guy, but you're never really gonna be free until you face him. I will no longer tolerate abuse. <laughs> I deserve happiness. Let me explain something to you, okay? You deserve only suffering! I will unleash an army of death. Everyone you care about will suffer because you betrayed me. We have to stop him before sunset. I am enough. enough. I deserve happiness. And I take full charge of my life. You know when something crazy happens and someone's like, it's okay, I've seen way worse. Everything I saw you do today is gonna be my way worse. It's my least favorite part of the job. I don't I can hear you being quiet, Mom. I, um, hope I didn't ice your game, man. No one my age says those words in that order. It's just hard to see my little man not being my little boy all the time. Yeah. Now, for years, I've been taking care of this little boy. Making sure he is loved. That he feels like he belongs wherever he wants to be. He wants to go out into the world and do great big things. Not bad, kid. And what I worry about most... I love you, Miles. ...is they won't look out for you like us. Miles! Want to get out of here? Wherever you go from here, you have to promise to take care of that little boy for me. Make sure he never forgets where he came from. And he never doubts that he is loved. And he never lets anyone tell him that he doesn't belong there. You gotta promise, Miles. I promise. Who do you think you are? Really? 
We are supposed to be the good guys. We are. Lazy ass up. All right, all right, I'm up already. That's what you get staying out partying all night. I'm a promoter. I'm working. I got like 18,000 followers. You know who got followers? Jesus. Take your rude ass to work. You just cursed. What would Jesus say? Jesus would say, shut the fuck up. This is my house. What you know about here? Where's the fiber See you late as usual. We need to clean this place. I don't got all day. Oh, ew, what the fuck? Ooh, that couch just fluffed itself. Whose crib is this, man? Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs is dead, fool. I mean, his house died. Yeah. Dude got Miami shit, Cleveland shit, LA shit. Damn, big a city, bro. Oh my God. We in LeBron's house. LeBron who? James. Hey there. Oh, oh. You are one handsome motherfucker. He got a hologram of himself just to give him compliments. You handled the decision to go to Miami perfectly. Nah. That's cap. <laughs> I need 10 G's by next week. I gotta pay for my daughter's school. LeBron. They on vacation. How about we throw the party in the king's house? We gonna invite all the celebrities. We can make 10 times the money. We can send Destiny to preschool, college, whatever. Tonight is our last shot. Looks like we up out to the house. Hi, I see you there. How are you? It's a white man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! You're going to jail, Kim. Hi, I'm Peter. Is LeBron home? Um... By the way, Black Lives Matter. They do. I posted two squares on my Instagram. Respect. This is a really bad idea. I wouldn't do something like this unless I was desperate. She cracking, bro. Control this party is? Shit, we done fucked up the koala. You good? What the fuck just happened? Your hairline is perfect. Anyone who says otherwise is just jealous. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> like my head. Just stop talking. You're ruining my concentration. You're fine. Chill. He's gonna die. Yeah. Ah. Did you hear that? What was that? Well, nothing we can do. You guys wanna grab pizza? Can I kick it? Can I kick it? Can I kick it? Can I kick it? What the heck are those things? They look like little Shreks to me. Can I kick it? Oh, we've prepared our whole lives for this. Can I kick it? Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm gonna be sick. Leo, oh what happened? Oh Is Donnie bleeding? It was an accident. Mike, you watch out! So, you were baby turtles who made contact with mystery goo. Well, we prefer the term ooze, but yeah. It's like more like, it's just nicer. It, it, it rolls off the tongue better, yeah. Ooze. 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 It's nice, right? Ooze. It's ooze. You're not here. We're not there. The car exploded. Come get the girls, I have to stay here with Woodrow. I'm not the chauffeur, I'm the grandfather. Where are you? Asteroid City, Farm Route 6, Mile 75. Last train! Junior stargazers and space cadets. Each year we celebrate Asteroid Day, commemorating September 23rd, 3007 BC, when the arid plains meteorite made Earth impact. Holy Toledo, that's Mitch Campbell. 
You were very good in the one about the tramp in the brothel Thank who you. gets amnesia and Thank becomes you. a pediatrician. You were very awesome. Actually, maybe my favorite character ever. I don't know why nobody else liked it. Oh. What do those pulses indicate? What? Oh, the beeps and blips? We don't know. Some of our information about outer space may no longer be completely accurate. Anyway, there's still only nine planets in the solar system as far as we know, Billy. Except now there's an alien. What's happening now? I don't know. I don't like the way that guy looked at us. The alien. How did he, how did he look? Like we're doomed. Maybe we are. I've just informed the president. How long can they keep us in Asteroid City, legally? The world will never be the same. That's an alien doing jumpy jacks. That's an alien in a top hat. What's out there? The meaning of life. Maybe there is one. Are you married? I'm a widower. But don't tell my kids. You're saying her mother died three weeks ago. Let's say she's in heaven, which doesn't exist for me, of course, but you're Episcopalian. In my loneliness, I learned to give complete and unquestioning faith to the people I love. I don't know if that includes you, but it included my daughter and your four children. Sometimes I think I feel more at home outside the Earth's atmosphere. Oh, wow. Me too. They're strange, aren't they? They're children. Compared to normal people. Yes, that's correct. It's true. Mm -hmm. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. I do a nude scene. You want to see it? Huh? Did I say yes? You didn't say anything. Uh, I meant yes. My mouth, my mouth didn't speak. It's known as the beautiful game, but let's face it, it's a complicated game. Guys, soccer, as you like to call it, is like life. Next season, I think we have a real shot. I'm sorry, uh, Thomas, did nobody tell you? You're, you're fired. Good news is, you got two options. Option one, that's where you're currently at. Or, American Samoa. Are you serious? If you're all alone, we haven't scored one goal in the history of our country trying to have a soccer team. Go! They scored again, humiliation. Mark my words, things are going to change. I got us a new coach. Something to drink? Whiskey, beer, wine? Yep, we got all those. Which one? Whiskey, beer, and wine. It's safe to say you have zero talent or understanding of the game. Something not right about this guy. What? He is white. Coach, you got the toughest job on the island. All we want is just one goal. One goal. Come on, guys! We've worked too long and hard for this. You've only been here a few days. What the? I can't work with these guys. For them, it's like some sort of game. It is a game, Thomas. That's it, Jaya, leadership. Now we're making some progress. Dear Lord, well, thank you for sending us Mr. Rongan. We've become quite attached to him. It's like finding a little lost white kid at the mall and telling him which way to go. Holy... I will tell you, I've never seen anything like it. Holy. <laughs> is the craziest I think I've ever seen. Everything okay? $11 million? What are you gonna do? Get a Ferrari? What the? Oh, language. The baby's here. Ooh. Yo, what up, everybody? Roy and Kitty here. I'm gonna pick a stock and talk about why I think it's interesting, and that stock is GameStop. I love this guy. Retail traders have hooked into GameStop. I think they think it's a good investment. It looks like there's one guy driving all the buying. <sighs> Who is this schmuck? Dumb money, man. Happy to take it. Wall Street is betting that this company is going to fail. But if it fails, these hedge fund people make a ton of money. 70,000 people have watched this video. Lord, Jenny, I love you! If he's in, I'm in. If he's in, I'm in. GameStop, those shares not stopping. Those stock is only gonna go up. When they hit, I'm gonna buy you a mansion. Let's drink to that. My brother is a nerd. 
Wall Street must be seeing this, right? You should probably dial in. Holy shit. Do you have a minute? I, uh, um. Babe, how much did we make today? Five million. How much did we lose today? A billion. And yesterday? Four million. And yesterday? A billion. Babe. Yeah. We're like really rich. Who you think gonna win? You got rich dudes pissing in their pants right now. They're coming after you. We need to talk about the GameStop situation. Retail traders always lose. <laughs> You've been served. Wall Street cheated. Surprise, surprise. You have to testify before Congress. The game has changed. If it's us versus them, who you think gonna win? If it's us versus What's the point of winning the race if you let some idiot steal the prize? A lot of people feel the system is broken. The whole idea of the stock market is if you're smart and maybe with a little luck you can make your fortune. Certainly not anymore. Who you think gonna win? There's no hope for the little guy. Balls. Maybe now there is. Yeah. Meet the residents of Element City. Air usually has their head in the clouds. Oh, my new jacket. Earth can be a little seedy. <laughs> Nothing weird going on here. Uh, just a little pruning. Water is always getting into something. Oh. 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 Help! And fire? As ordered, we run a little hot. <laughs> this shop is dream of our family. Someday it'll all be yours. But we all live by one simple rule. Elements cannot mix. Ah! What the? The pipe squished me all out of shape. Dang. That's better. Oh. So you've never left Firetown? Sorry, buddy. Elements don't mix. Whoa! Hey! Plus, my dad would boil you alive. Why does anyone get to tell you what you can do in your life? Come on! Why do they even have these? Eh, who knows? I see a change in you. Ah! What, her guy? You live here? It's my mom's place. We got two kids that are swimming around here somewhere. Orca, follow! What? <laughs> I've been trying to fill my father's shoes. I never once asked what I wanted to do. Like this. Mm. Dad, those are too hot. I love hot food. Mm. Mm. You see? He likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having the strangest dreams. Rachel, dreams are not reliable analytical material. That's so 20th century. Hi, Rachel. We're delighted to let you know that we've had movement on our wait list. We got a spot at the Womb Center. Oh, God. <laughs> but I haven't told Elvie yet. Oh, oh, why, Rachel? He wants a natural child. But hold on, you put us on a wait list to have a baby and an egg. No, it's not an egg. It's, it's an egg. Women are reluctant to have children because it's not made convenient. We want them to pursue their careers and dreams. We can't live in the past. I want to have a child with you. Let's do it, Rachel. Really? Yeah. I'm sure you're all very excited. Parents are raving about it. It is the ultra solution. <laughs> My nephew was born at the <laughs> womb center, but he doesn't dream. I wouldn't worry about it. Mm. I, can't, I can't do it with the pot in here. What are you talking about? It can't see us. I feel Alvi is able to bond with our child, but I'm not. Maybe I'm just not ready to be a mother. 
You know, no one's a mother just like that. You become one. Lately, I've been holding on to something. We are considering having a home birth. I'm sorry, it's not possible. I won't raise this child without nature. Congratulations. Oh, so, it's so exciting, isn't it? I noticed a change in prolactivity. You do have a baby at the womb center, right? Why? What's going on? Things are evolving. Your family dynamics are about to undergo tremendous changes. How can we make sure our baby's not bored in utero? Oh yeah, we don't want any bored babies. You know, you really captured his essence. Maybe his face could use a little more detail, though. It's like a photograph. I'm Adam. Chloe. One, two, three. Sure you're not gonna make fun of me? Just show me. All right. Oh my God. This might be the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. You have 62 viewers and $300 total. They don't have love in their culture. They find romantic stuff super exotic and interesting. They pay they watch you go on dates. Family dinner is one of our most cherished human rituals. Do you have to do this right now, Chloe? You're not supposed to talk about the broadcast on the broadcast. Would you keep that shit out of my line of sight? Why don't you keep your shit out of our line of sight? You didn't invent courtship broadcast, bitch. It has recently become obvious you are deceiving your viewers. What? Deceiving? The title of your broadcast is Adam and Chloe in love. And yet you are not in love. I want you to repay all funds you have received. Wait. We've already spent everything we made just to live. Then I will take you to court, and your families will be in debt for approximately six generations. Do you, oh, no! Do you want me to cut that for you? Where is the nearest restaurant? No part of my body can make that noise. It's it Well, it, it certainly won't if you don't try. We can get that love back. Romantic love is the most poetic of all human love modes. It should never be faked. I'm just like any other person. I want to grow up and fall in love and be swept off my feet. We've lost a lot since you guys came here. But we've overcome a lot too. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, how y'all doing? For all of y'all that don't know who I am, my name is Willie Gary. Willie Gary. Willie Gary. William Gary. Never heard of him. What's so special about this guy, anyway? Litigation is war. It's a battle. Bam! And I'm not talking about no bullshit either. I'm talking about some John Claude Van Damme ass-kicking shit. Truth is, I may have gotten myself into a lot of trouble. I've been your lawyer 30 years. We can find a way out of it. You've never sued anybody before in your whole life. This fella tried to bully me out of business, and I don't think I should be expected to stand for it. Mr. Gary hasn't lost a case in over 12 years. You suggesting I hire this guy as one of my lawyers? Y'all come on in. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Gary. Let me introduce you to my call, Red. How do you feel about working with black folk? I suppose I am a little prejudiced. Mm. Did you meet my team? I'm Chris. Deshaun. Reggie Douglas. Gentlemen. He's suing us? He's suing us? We are a half a billion dollar corporation. So, how much money y'all trying to get? Eight million. That ain't enough money. One hundred million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this clown he's hired as a lawyer? You're a fighter, man. What made you want to do it? Because he tried to mess with the one thing that means the most to me in life, being able to leave something behind for my grandchildren. Let's play some music. Sun is shining, sky is blue. My name is Maine Downs. Graduated top of her class from Harvard Law School. Uh -huh. They had a nickname for her around the office. The Python. I wouldn't get too used to me being kind to you, Mr. Gary. Once we begin that trial, I'm gonna destroy you. Well, can't you see that we're golden? 
we don't have a snowball's chance in hell of winning this case. Just, just trust me, okay? I, I, I may have found something. What does it feel like to be some small-time nobody on the verge of bankruptcy? What well, if I don't win and I let all these people down? You have been trying to turn this into your own one-ring circus. I got my damn life on the line. I know that, Jerry. Did it ever bother you? Oh, the hypocrisy, the hypocrisy. You sit your ass down. I'm just your honor. Hey, 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 wait, wait. What's my kids put the pole? Can't split the pole, man. Come on, man. Dollar. Yes? Hi, I have some bad news. We lost your mom. What? Sorry, that was terrible phrasing. I meant we don't know where she is. <sighs> oh, I think your sister's here. Annie, it's finally happened. Oh my God, it's okay, it's okay, I'm here. We're over, it's, oh my God, you're working Annie. Oh She's not God. dead. She ran away. Tough bitch. And yum, your mom owes me 80 grand. When you have it, you'll get your dog back. Mm -hmm. I don't have any money. You can sell your eggs. Well, it's not like you're using them. No, there has to be another way. What is the square root of 196? 14. Correct. How many hearts does an octopus have? Three. Correct. What? Saffron. Saturn. Aphrodite. Apollo. Aries. Carbon dioxide. The equal sign. Correct. Oh my god. What? You know this game. This is how you're gonna make the money. I'm taking you to the quiz. Look out! Learn how to drive! Racist! Oh. Hi. Come on, it's gonna be fun! I'm not sleeping on the floor. I'm not sleeping on the floor either. I sleep on the chair! I don't want to sleep in a sitting position. Oh my god. Hold up. About to catch another fight. I can't play on live TV in front of millions of people. Once you get to it, I know you gotta get through hair and makeup. I already went through hair and makeup. Well, then you missed the spot. I can't do this. Am I sweating? Yeah. You know what? Put your arms down. You're having a panic attack. Doctors prescribe these. Is that cocaine? <laughs> Stevia. Do you, do you ever use Stevia, the sweetener? Yeah, yeah, I've got it in my pocket. Win or lose, we'll do it together. That is definitely broken. I bet you I could pop it back in my sound. No, I can't. I'm going to throw up. How can I ever thank you? Maybe like a drink later? Well, I'm married. I'm gay. Why'd you have to say two reasons? Hi there, uh, big dogs. I'm trying to get home. I know which way that is. Oh, great! Right up my f***ing <laughs> you little Oh, no, that can't be right. I'm lost. You're a stray man. You can do anything you want. This beer doesn't taste good, but I like how it's making me feel. Have you ever humped anything before? I recently f***ed this couch. Best sex of my life. <sighs> and she's dirty, too. No, oh, well, I, I can tell. Looks like she hasn't been washed in years. I'll see you later, baby. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really should find my way back home. We can help. <laughs> We're completely lost, and my little puppy paw pads are really hurting right now. This could be a lot worse. How could this get worse? Huh? How could it get worse? Ah! Hold on, buddy! Ah. Oh, wow, your balls look huge from this angle. Thank you, but holy f That is the craziest thing I have ever seen. And I'm Dennis Quaid, and Dennis Quaid has seen some s***. No starving. How many of these should we eat? Mm, all of them? Give me a sec. Whoa. You look different. You look different too. How so? Is it my human hands? Hold up. Sit! The cops! Oh god, what do we do? Calm down. I got this. Hello, officer. None of us. Shut the f up. Hey Doc. Mm -hmm. I was thinking tonight could be a good night for sex night, possibly. Ooh. It's an interesting idea, but you know. Thursdays. Stephen Laudem, how's the new opera coming along? Good, great, yes. great. We had discussed seeing a first draft of the score in two weeks. Two weeks. Is that still all right? I'm suffering from a temporary blockage at the moment. No, turn it back on. One. G flat. Is he all right? He had a total breakdown after his last opera. Ah! I can't do this. We need to take a 
take a walk. Jolt your brain out of its little rat pattern. Interact with a stranger. Okay, honey, I have a patient. Bye. Are we going that way? I keep imagining you naked. I don't know if you want to hear more details about these images. No. I bet every one of these people has a story for an opera in them, Levi. What do you do? I operate a tugboat. The wrong hands, this tug is a deadly weapon. I'm addicted to romance. Isn't everybody? I've been arrested for stalking. I had to go to rehab. And uh, not supposed to be doing this. Can't believe that actually happened. I mean, she seduced me, right? She's a witch. The demented tugboat captain who lures men to her tugboat and kills them and eats them. I loved it. How did you come up with that? I was really angry at you. And now it turns out I'm your muse. Do what? Oh, Steve, I'll never leave you. Um. I love cleaning. Cleanliness is close to godliness. When my patients are talking, I imagine getting inside their heads with disinfectant and just scrubbing them down. Your tugboat captain came to see me. I'm in love. No, no! Just admit that I had a magic effect on you. My imagination came up with the story. My talent wrote the music. I mean, you don't kill men and eat them, do you? <laughs> well, I haven't yet. You know I can't resist a romantic story, even if I'm not in it. Pressure's all right, Gary? It's perfect. Is there any area in particular you want me to focus on today? Um, Gary, how many guys have you done this with? You're the first guy that I've ever been intimate with. I had a wife, she left. I really don't know what to say. I mean, words of affirmation is not my love language. It's more like... I've been alive for nearly half a century and I haven't actually lived even a second of it. Gary, I'm gonna help you. Let's find someone for you. Oh my God, there's so many hot guys. I think that this might just be too much. Oh, too late, he's already on his way. Wait, what? Hello. What's up, bro? Just wanna get in and get out. Oh, you can get in all right. It's a gorgeous landing. What are you doing? Oh, I'm calling 911. Gary, no accidents happened. It was your first time being gay. Did you really think you were gonna make any mistakes? Fuck, you bled through the tarp. That's Mountain Ashwood. It's really porous. Oh my god, you're so gay. Oh, are you a cop? No. Wait, are you? No. Good. Because the dark web's built on trust. Come on! Is this what it's like? This is what it's like. I am like human paupers. I open anyone up. I'm really glad I met you. Even if multiple people are dead because of it. Dripping in diamonds, a thousand eyes, watching silence. As we get high, high Church up. girls know how to kneel. Ha -cha -cha -cha. Where are you going? I am a cool, hot zaddy. Where'd you kill him? Oh, we oh, right outside. You moved the body? Uh, we just in a closet. You guys ever seen Gone Girl? Just, just apart with that Netflix stick. Gary. Do you know what the greatest thing about America is? You can make things happen here like nowhere else. You have the power to create your own future. You can be anything. You can do anything. You want to sell high-end stuffed Himalayan cats? Understuffed, actually, for a greater possibility. We're professionals. We're giving the people what they need. <laughs> Did you see the latest numbers? We broke the entire internet thing. You go big or you go home. Ty would tell you he did it all. <gasps> which is as crazy as believing stuffed animals are gold. Did you see the truck crash? Insane. <laughs> Poor beanies. This has always been my company. Company we created together. Why do you have to be so dramatic? I mean... My salary's been reduced 75%. Yeah, I'm just doing what's necessary. You know, running the real, actual business over here. My life is this company. I see where it's going. Ow. There are signs of real trouble. Genius is 1% inspiration, 99% presentation. That's not how the saying goes. <sighs> Everything good that's happened to me is because of you guys. We are bonded forever. Have 
Have you considered poisoning him? Countless times, sir. <laughs> Have our perfect partners lined up. Jehovah's Witnesses, the greatest one-on-one -on -one salesman in the world. How brilliant is that? I'm gonna go. You're dead to me. I only want to speak to Oprah Winfrey. Has she reached out? How did you come to write this book? What really struck me was that too few books were about my people. Where are our stories? Where's our representation? Would you give us the pleasure of reading an excerpt? Yo, Sharonda, girl, you be pregnant again? If I is, Ray Ray is gonna be a real father this time around. Thank you. Monk, your books are good, but they're not popular. Editors, they want a black book. They have a black book. I'm black, and it's my book. You know what I mean. Look at what they published. Look at what they expect us to write. I just want to rub their noses in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be standing outside in the night. There'd be dads, rappers, crack. You said you wanted black stuff. That's black, right? I see what you're doing. We sold a book. No. We believe Mr. Lee has written a bestseller. It's a joke. The most lucrative joke you've ever told. Now, is Stag a pseudonym? Yeah. Mr. Lee can't use his real name. Is this based on your actual life? Yeah, you think some bitch-ass college boy can come up with that shit? No, no. No, I don't. Can I ask what you were in for? It was it murder? Yeah, you said that, not me. They ran 300,000 copies. Your books changed people's lives. They're offering $4 million for the movie rights. Yes! The dumber I behave, the richer I get. This has gone too far. Stag Arley is still on the run for authorities. You haven't done anything. It's not like they can arrest you. Wish I could go back to not selling books. Is it bad to cater to people's tastes? People want to love you, Monk. You should let them love all of you. There's already so much buzz because of the movie deal. Michael B. Jordan is circling. We want to put him on the cover in one of those um, uh, scarves, I guess you would call them, tied around his head. A do-rag? Do-rag, that's it. Do-rag and a tank top with the muscles showing. Oh, something called the fire department. <laughs> We're thinking we can get it out in time for Juneteenth. Don't you let that dog piss on my walkway. He has no idea who's doing that. Well, it was one of you. Hey, Otto! No. Don't you dare let that little rat dog piss on my walkway again. Ignore him, Prince. He has no idea who's doing that. Well, it was one of you. You cannot use this road without a permit. Have a nice day, sir. You know, the other guys don't do this. The guys with the white trucks. How come it's always you brown guys? And I don't mean that racially. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't get me here earlier. The whole neighborhood is falling apart these days. No, 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 stop. Oh, my God. Give me the keys. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Otto. Otto? O-T-T-O. I'm Abby. O T T L. <laughs> Got some new neighbors. Bye. Nedwood husband. I brought you some food. Okay. okay. Bye. Are you always this unfriendly? I am not unfriendly. Okay, you're not. Every word you say is like a warm cuddle. Can you please give me a ride? I don't have a license. You don't have a driver's license? How old are you? Punch in and brake. Brake, the car is stopped. Ah! Don't hit the car. Brake, brake. I almost hit the car. It's all right. It's a hybrid. Well, it's all right. How did you get in here? Oh! 
No, no, no. You are not taking over my bed. I was wondering if you could help us out. I'm not sure about this. It's gonna be very fun. How was it? You did a good job. You should pat yourself on the back. Well, it's all right. Right. I have a cat. You think you have to do everything on your own? But guess what? No one can. A trick? Yes. Yeah. Could I borrow a coin? What did you do? Send me back to the corner, <laughs> no, sir. No. It was all the clown's fault. A lot has happened since my big fat Greek wedding. Like I never left. My father passed away, and his last wish was for us to visit his childhood village and reconnect with our roots. So we're having a reunion. We're going to Greece. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. And by we, I mean oh, the whole family. Oh. Who wants souvlaki? Paging souvlaki. Anybody by the name of souvlaki on this flight? Aristotle, what? I didn't know you were going to be here. What are you doing here? I had an amazing date. She ghosted him. You are the Portocalos family. We are related. Through your papu's papu, who was married to my great great yaya sister sister-in-law. I want Bula. I will be your favorite. I promised my dad I would find his best friends. I know them. Do they still live here? No. How do we find them? They will come for the reunion. Did they tell you they're coming? No. There's no other bedrooms. Family sleepover. <laughs> this is one reunion. <laughs> We'll never forget. Do you know these men? No. I am surprised, but I am not surprised because I'm never surprised. You lost me. Everybody say! We dreamt about Aristotle last night. How did you know? Greek voodoo. Bam! I remember your story. I really need to find my dad's friends. Angelo and I are on it. Okay, bye. Let's do it! I'm calling it. You got us back to Greece. You're the head of the family now. I can't really day drink like this. Don't worry, a lady is never drunk. <laughs> Pick the one we have for dinner. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm a vegetarian. No. We got these families. Everybody listen, this is important. I'm gonna show you guys something. And when I show you what I'm gonna show you, don't freak out. <laughs> I can explain. It's magic! It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas! High stakes as neighbors compete for best decorated house on the block. I think this is the house to beat. Wow. What's your Christmas wish? I just want to win this thing. I'll take it. Signature, please. Ignore all the fine print. It's like you're signing your life away. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Oh, it will be. <laughs> Rise and shine, naughty boy. <laughs> what the hell is all it is? Something's happening. Good morning, sir. Are you real? We all were, until we fell into that elf sick trap. You made your wish. You're in it now. I didn't sign on for this. You literally signed on for this. You gotta read the fine print, man. The terms of service are brutal. Say goodbye to your dad. Why are y'all just like Prince? We are not gonna let her turn your dad into one of those weird Happy Meal toys. No offense, I'm sorry. None taken. A little taken. We are the Carvers. We gotta catch an elf. You met with the wrong family! We should split up. What do you mean we should split up? Have you never watched a horror film? If you split up, somebody dies. Have you ever died? Oh? It is not fun. That's true. I'd never died, but mom knows. I didn't know you'd die before. Let's go find these rings. 
Is that who I think it is? Oh my god, Black Santa! New Santa with Black, man! They spent, what, a trillion dollars trying to get one dude back from Mars? You get the opportunity to bring back Matt Damon. I just don't think we should wait around to be saved, you know? You really don't think they're sending anybody to save us? I mean... In case you haven't noticed, we're doomed to spend the rest of our miserable lives on this ship. Maybe we should do it. Do what? It. <laughs> We're not attracted now, but we would emotionally attach. You mean fall in love. What if this awesome thing we have going on gets ruined? People are meant to be together. Oh, sorry. Is this, is this on? Okay. <clears throat> Lame. We're both married. I'm sure being adrift in space gives you a hall pass. You know what you want to watch tonight? Alien? Never seen it. Why the hell did we watch that movie? That was class. Ah! Sorry. That was my fault. Are you okay? You just had Zach McLaren's ball in your face. Mm -hmm. What's his GPA? Do you have any books on Battletoads? You know video games are now the leading cause of divorce. Could you actually order me a book on that? Really? No. Sarcasm is frequently an attempt to deflect one's ignorance. So is being a know-it-all. Oh, wait, you forgot your credit card. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. What's up? The heck get a car. Now he's a concussion and he thinks that I'm his girlfriend. Thank God it's you. Oh, oh, <laughs> already. He is dating a Zoe. What other Zoe? He's either dead or he's dumped me. Honestly, I'm not sure which is worse. Make sure Zach takes it easy. His symptoms could get worse. What do I do? You don't want him getting worse. Pretend to be the other Zoe. You've been dating two or three weeks now, right? Yeah. Sunrise piece. This is Zach's cousin, Miles. He's in grad school at MIT. Oh, oh my God. A match for Zoe. I caused the accident. And now I'm going to flirt with an amnesia patient's cousin? We're all going to go skiing in the mountains this weekend. You want to go with us? Strip of land, seven letters. Mm. It's my Oh, how did you know that? Well done, you two. Should we hit the slopes? Yeah, we shall. Ah! Oh! It's confusing. I'm enjoying getting to know you. Over again. Go take a swing at life. You and Zach, do you really think that you're a good match? Like we are. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> I need to tell him the truth. You have to go after what you want and be brave. Oh my god, you're just giving me rom com advice now. No, it's so fun. So, what did you do? Did you have fun? What didn't we do? Excuse me? All PG-13. Okay.